Hey, thank you for watching my video. My name is Crystal. Uh, so today's topic is five reasons why Googling Tantra will save your life, even if you're not in a relationship. So I thought what I would do is I would list all five. And uh, what I'm inspired to continue with is make a, a video for each reason so I can go in more details with you about why Tantra is so awesome. So let's start with number one. Uh, as soon as you start to Google Tantra, when you go out and you buy your books, when you find teachers, what you'll find out is that um, Tantra is not something new. It's very ancient and it's still practiced all around the world. It has been modernized by, um, by North America, the West. It's uh, sometimes overly sexualized, but what you end up finding is uh, tantra, the practice itself, is one path that can lead to enlightenment. So why is this important? I think it's um, really cool that you have that connection of sensuality and a spiritual practice. Um, for, for thousands of years, religion really um, brought a lot of shame and guilt when it came to sexuality, right? There's a lot of stigma with it. So um, finding that Tantra is a way to, to lead you closer to your, um, to your source, to your divine, to your God, however you, you may call um, this magnificent intelligence, right? So that's, to me, uh, a really awesome thing to explore. Now, number two is um, Tantra is not necessarily goal-oriented. So again, we're taught in society that um, sex leads to, for example, creation, so creating a baby, but also it's uh, it's instilled in us about having that orgasm, right? And um, what I like about Tantra is it's not about the orgasm, it's about what happens and what leads to the orgasm itself. And so, um, really embodying pleasure, allowing yourself to um, use your sexual experience with yourself or with a partner um, as a moving meditation, which is really quite inspiring. If you've never meditated before, it's a great way to start. Um, so that's number two. And the reason why this is important is that Tantra is not just a sensual um, spiritual practice, it will go in the very physical aspect of our bodies. So it will explain why prolonged sexual pleasure before orgasm is extremely important for our health, vitality, and so much more. And so it goes into the science behind it. So number three, learning the practice of Tantra, what it will do is because you're um, using it as a moving meditation, because you're aware of your body, your breath, your emotions, it will naturally assist you, assist us in working on our shit. So basically old wounds will come up if they haven't already. Um, we all have a story. And so Tantra is a great way to really deal with what we've suppressed, what we've ignored, um, and what needs to come to the surface to basically free us from what has imprisoned us in a, such a very low, limited experience. And so learning Tantra helps us uh, with self-development, uh, with your spiritual path. So number four, this kind of lines up with the first three, is number four, it gives us a beautiful platform of the balance between partnership. So we, each of us, hold the masculine and feminine energies within us. And learning Tantra, you get to learn um, more about yourself, but the sacredness behind not only your sexuality, but also your partnership. And so it will help to uh, assist us in better communication, uh, listening, um, bring harmony and balance. Why? Because in Tantra, you have to be open about what you desire, what you need. And that's very challenging for us as a society, right? Um, and if family is 
they say that family is society. And if you look at our society now, we're in trouble. And so taking a step back and finding new ways to perhaps heal our relationship, heal ourselves, but while having fun with it, I think is awesome. So number five, obviously, a better sexual experience. <laughs> so you'll have, um, first of all, men learn to have, well, to first postpone the orgasm, which is, I mean, who doesn't want that? right uh, for the men and for the woman and then second a man can learn tools on how to be multi-orgasmic in one experience so just like how some women not all but some women can have more than one orgasm during experience and men can too as well maybe not physically have an orgasm but you get to learn how to energetically have an orgasm which goes all around your body it's very different and so you will have a more awesome orgasm, a uh, more fulfilling experience, and you'll have a better connection, not only with your own body, but with your partners as well. So these are my top five. I'm really looking forward to getting into every single topic uh, more deeply because there's so much there. And uh, so thank you for watching. I tried to make this video very short and sweet. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Wishing you an awesome, fantastic day. Thank you. Namaste.